what is up guys Vower Designs here with a tutorial on how to do the Louis text effect on a logo or something that's not on his template um, for for all of you that haven't that don't know uh, he currently he released he recently released a template with this effect but it only really works for uh, text it doesn't really work for logos so I learned how to do it from scratch and I decided to show you guys even though a lot of you probably already know I just thought it would help out people who don't already know so for those of you who don't know what the Louis Tech Spec is, this is an example of the Louis Tech Spec, and this is what I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make today with this same logo. This is my logo, and if you look, you can see the black borders kind of around, and it looks really nice. It's a really cool effect, and it looks really nice in backgrounds like this one that I made for myself. So um, I decided that I'd help you guys out by teaching you guys how to do it. So first off, you want to go into Cinema 4D, and you want to file merge your AI path. I'm just gonna do my logo. Okay. Once you have the AI path in, I'm just gonna center it and then with the Lightroom. Um, you wanna add extrude nerves and make it 3D, of course. I don't. That was an accident. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what you wanna do? You wanna make the distance or the movement 50 centimeters. Actually, I'll try. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a little more. I'm gonna do 100 centimeters. Okay, and then you want to add fillet fill caps, however you pronounce it. And for the radius, you want it to be 0 0.365 centimeters. Both end and start caps, both are fillet caps with the same radius. Now I'm gonna, you can really add any material that you want. I'm gonna do the orange one because that's what everyone's been using. Um, so you're gonna put it on all three different parts or however many paths you have. And now you have the orange part of it and now I'm gonna be teaching you, this is where you get the black border and this is the part that I didn't really know how to do until recently but I thought I'd teach you guys how to do it now that I know. So what you wanna do is you wanna duplicate all these control C control V and you want to make you want to re replace the orange uh, materials with with a black or white material I think black looks better so I'm gonna use the black ones just delete the orange ones there and then on these new ones you want to change the radius of the fillet cap to 1.1 Then I'm gonna change. You go back to ba you go back to object. Change the distance to I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do 20 centimeters. And as you can see now, you have the the black line around it. And I'm gonna duplicate that and make some more of those. Okay, so now you have those. I'm gonna make the radius a little bit bigger, actually. And keep in mind that if you want to make the black lines bigger or whatever, all you need to do is go to the caps and change the radius. I'm gonna try two. Uh, that's still pretty small. I'm gonna do three. There you go. That's more what we're looking for. Okay. Now that you have the border, it's not really completed yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna group all of these, all of the extrude nerves, group objects, and then I'm gonna put the random effector on it. And the the more that you change the strength, the more it's gonna change. I'm gonna put it at I'll uh, put it at ten percent. I'm gonna pre-render it out real fast and see how it looks. Oh, sorry, I have cell render on. Hold on a minute. Okay, so I don't I don't really know why it's this dark, but as you can see, you can see the black lines around it. 
and it kind of does the same thing. And you can you can change it to, to any color. All I need to do is change the first three uh, extrude nerves, like the first three, the first layer, like the main layer. And then you can render it out in really any color. See, this is what green looks like. So yeah, if you do it right, you should finish with some kind of effect like this. It's a really nice effect. Uh, I'm sure I'll be using it a lot. Um, I'll link you his template. The, this template only works for text, though. It does not work for uh, logos, and that's why you have to do it from scratch for the logos. And hopefully you guys know how to do it now after watching this video. Um, I'm sorry I'm not the best at giving tutorials, so if you have any questions, leave a comment or add me on Skype and I'll try to help you out. Uh, I'm generally... I try to respond to everybody, and I get a lot of messages, so if I don't respond right away, please don't get all insulted and get all mad or whatever. I have a lot of messages, especially now that I'm leader of Dash. By the way, um, check out Dash Revolts if you haven't already. Uh, we're a sick new team, and uh, our first episode just came out, uh, so be sure to check us out. And yeah, I hope this taught you guys how to do it. Um, once again, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments, send me a message, or add me on Skype. This is Valor, guys. Deuces.